Welcome back and now for the news in detail. In the U.S., the number of new coronavirus cases has crossed to over 100,000, the highest in the world. What in this report? Countries continue to exert strict measures to contain the pandemic after it spreads to 202 countries and territories. As the death toll in the U.S. reaches nearly 1,700, President Donald Trump has signed the largest bailout package in the country's history, worth $2 trillion. Trump says the U.S. will produce 100,000 ventilators in 100 days, pledging to take care of domestic needs while also helping other countries. Within the next 100 days, we will either make or get in some form over 100,000 additional units. And I guess to put it in other words, in the next 100 days, we'll receive over three times the number of ventilators made during a regular year in the United States. And that doesn't include all of the thousands and thousands that we've we've given to uh, the various states, a lot of them. The global health body says they are testing new vaccines to provide proper medicine in the market as soon as possible. Today, we are delighted to announce that today in Norway and Spain, the first patients will shortly be enrolled in the solidarity trial, which will compare the safety and effectiveness of, our, of four different drugs or drug combinations against COVID-19. The World Health Organization has warned governments against using medications not scientifically proven to fight the pathogen.